Hi, this is Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us today for Live with Annie. As usual, we've started the stream a bit early to get everything set up and broadcasting properly to our various platforms. You can find a countdown clock on the screen showing how long it will be until we actually go live. While you wait, please connect with us and other viewers in the chat. Let us know where you are from and whether you are a new or longtime viewer. We'll see you live soon. again for joining us for Live with Annie. We are so happy to have you with us today. While you wait for the program to start, we hope you'll enjoy the content playing on screen. There's so much inspiration, so take a moment to tell us what you love in the chat. Don't forget there is a countdown clock on the screen so you know how long until we go live.
Hi, it's Annie again reminding you that we'll be going live with this week's episode shortly. There is a countdown clock on the screen showing how much time is left. You've got just enough time to grab some water or beverage of your choice and a snack and to connect with us in the chat. We'd love to hear what you've been working on this week. It's Annie back to remind you that we'll be starting this week's live very shortly. We've got a really fun episode planned for today, and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us for Episode 4 of Season 3 of Live with Annie. It is always a treat to see new and returning viewers, and it means a lot to all of us that you have made the time to be here with us today. Today we are sharing info about our sixth annual Local Quilt Shop Contest, which kicked off on Saturday. We will talk about how you can participate, what's in it for your favorite local quilt shop, and how you can find local quilt shops all around the world. I am out of town this week, so a portion of this episode is pre-recorded, but Casey will be here live to share lots of tips and answer your questions. So if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them in the comment or chat section. Last week we had a fabulous visit with Amanda Murphy, who shared tips for quilting on a domestic machine using rulers. Amanda is such a great teacher and I learned so much from her presentation. I have already bought a ruler foot and some rulers for my machine and I can't wait to get started. 
If you missed the episode or want to watch it again, remember that you can find all the previous 104 episodes of Live with Annie on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or at byannie.com. We'll put up all the links to make them easy for you to find. As we often say, keeping local quilt shops strong and vibrant is very important to all of us here at Biani. So we are extra excited to have our sixth annual local quilt shop contest underway. During the contest, we encourage you to vote for your favorite shop and share a little bit about what makes them special. This helps us spotlight local quilt shops around the world and provides a way to let those hard-working shop owners know how much we all appreciate them. In an effort to recognize and support even more local quilt shops, we have made some substantial changes to the contest for 2023. First, this year we will have grand prize winners in the U.S., Australia, Canada, and the U.K. And rather than having four runner-up winners as we did in the past, we are transitioning to regional prizes this year. So in the U.S., we will pick a top in state for each of the 50 states. In Canada, we'll pick winners from each province, and in each other country worldwide, we'll also pick a winner. So there is an opportunity for more than 100 local quilt shops to share in prizes totaling over $50,000 in this year's contest. How cool is that? Not only do shop owners get to bask in the glory of their customers' comments, but thanks to our amazing sponsors, they're also competing for some awesome prizes that are bigger and better than ever. In addition to Biani, sponsors for this year's contest include the Jaftex Corporation, h h Americas, Schmetz Needles, the Craft Industry Alliance, Stitchcraft Marketing, Shop Hop Inc., and Erie Quilt Art Studios in Canada, HQW Distributors in Australia, and Hantex Distributors in the UK. With the potential for prizes to total over 50,000, there are too many to list here today, but please visit lqscontest.com and click on Rules and Prizes for all the details. We launched the contest on Local Quilt Shop Day, January 28th, and voting runs all the way through the end of February. In last year's contest, we had almost 40,000 votes for over 1,900 stores around the world. That was more than double the number of votes received in the prior year, and I'd love to see us double or even triple the votes again this year. We are asking for your help to make that happen. First, if you haven't already voted, do that now. I'm going to pass this over to Casey so that he can walk you through the process and tell you about some ways that you can help your favorite shop end up in the winner's circle. Hi everybody, this is Casey. I am here live and I have to say that coming into this, Glow told me that I look like I just rolled out of bed. I wanna assure you I did not do that. I have been up all day working on a variety of tasks and trying to get ready to share with you the best and most exciting parts of this LQS contest, which is voting and then seeing the results for your shops. Beyond that, just to share, Annie sent me a text this morning indicating that she is down with the flu. Her, she's um, up in Montana visiting my sister and brother-in-law and um, their small child. And unfortunately they had the flu over the weekend and now she just got it as well. So. So send her some love and hopefully she'll feel better very soon, but glad we were prepared for that with this pre-recording and getting me online. With regards to voting, <clears throat> first and foremost, I'm, I, and she also tells me not to clap. There's things you gotta learn when you don't do these lives every day. First and foremost, if you go to buyany.com, there is a big banner right up front that can take you to vote now. I wanna mention that when you click on that, and sorry, I'm, I already have things up just so that we don't have any loading issues. It takes you to what is an embedded version of that form on our website. So there is a little bit of a scrolling question as to whether or not you scroll here or you scroll on the main page. You can kind of see my mouse back and forth there. On mobile, it's a different, different experience as well. If you're having any trouble, you can always click right here on lqscontest.com vote, or of course, go directly to 
the website LQS Contest and then go to Vote Now in any of the random locations that it's there. As I say that, I do want to mention that this code for how to embed this voting form is available to your shops. So any shops out there, find your way over to the promotional area for shops. Down at the bottom there's code for how to embed that on your shop. And I recommend doing that. That way you don't have to send people to a separate website. You can just collect the votes right there on your page as people are there, especially when you're sending out emails. Getting into voting. So I'm going to go into the voting page. Again, this is an embedded form on even the LQS page. That's because we have an underlying database run by Airtable that, that manages all of the voting, all the shops, etc. It's an incredible platform for anyone that is looking for a, a management system for anything from their models to their patterns to how to do social media posts. So it's great for businesses as well as for the private individual. And someday we hope to do a little uh, live on how to use Airtable to develop certain things that are beneficial to either the, the quilting enthusiast or the shop. But let's dive into voting here. The first thing you're going to do on the voting form is choose your shop. And this I'm going to spend probably two minutes on talking about because it is a search function and as a search function it is both literal and the other thing to mention is that less is more. So in particular, you know, what is one of the most common quilt shop names out there? Well, probably quilt, right? If I type in quilt, I'm going to get a ton of answers. Anywhere from, and I can't read this far away, Quilter's Shop to Quilting Maryland to Quilter's Garden, right? Well, maybe my shop is Quilter, right? So I'm going to type in Quilter. That gives me a reduced list, and you might notice that there's Quilters and with an apostrophe in quilters. Well, if I type in just quilters without the apostrophe, all of a sudden I've lost all of the apostrophed shop names. Alternatively, if I do the opposite and I add the apostrophe, I've lost all the quilters that are just plural. Two things there. Number one, if you're a local quilt shop, please double check the way we've shown your shop by using the verify link here up at the top and send us any information or changes you'd like. And two, keep that in mind, all of you voters, for as you search, go slow and don't be afraid to scroll a little bit. It is a very easy way to find things. Secondly, to the extent that quilters happens to be one of your shops and you struggle to find them in this list, one of the next best ways to search is just by city. And so let me show you that here where, well, and as I say that, city can be complicated too. So we, by Annie.com, our warehouse is located in St. George, Utah. That has a variety of ways to do it, which is Saint, S-A-I-N-T, as well as S-T and S-T period. Okay, let me show you some of the complications that even just our little region pulls up which is, if I quickly type in St. George, I don't get any results. Hopefully I typed George right. I can't see from here. Is George anybody? Oh, there we go. I, I, I have had a tradition of, of hitting the, the letters in a different order when I was practicing, so I just wanted to do that. But so if you type in St. George with no period and a space, nothing comes up. If I type in St. George, ah, there we go, St. George, only by Annie.com LLC comes up, and I must say, while we'd be happy to have your vote, please keep in mind we're not in the running for this contest as an online-only shop. But there are no other stores here. That's because the magic combination for St. George is ST period George, and then you can see a multiple of shops that we have here locally. That being said, as a simpler method, and something to keep in mind that less is more, you can always just type in George. And then all of ours show up, along with a few from Georgetown, Indiana, and Georgetown, Kentucky. But it wasn't that hard to scroll through theirs, those. There's only 4,000 shops in the list currently worldwide, and therefore your city's probably going to be one of the best bets if you're ever having struggles, struggles finding a shop. As long as we're doing an example, I might as well vote for us. So I'm going to type in by Annie. And again, please don't vote for us. Please vote for a local quilt shop that you're actually able to visit. We are only online and 
and primarily w looking to 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 promote local quilt shops and be have our product purchased there. So keep that in mind. Once you've chosen your shop, it's as simple as typing in the ans the answers to these questions. What makes them stand out? What's your name and email? That allows us to help identify unique records and make sure that you're a valid voter. Where did you hear from us? And also, would you like to hear from anything else? And as an optional, can you tell us any story about this? Any any stories about a special moments in the store? All of these items we do share with the stores. Um, for the top voted shops in the top 100 at least, we invest a fair amount of time in actually getting them all ready and emailing them directly. We will probably do even more of that this year. And then we also provide all shops an opportunity to write us and ask for those comments. Those comments are amazing for populating, populating reviews um, and other pages within their stuff as well as putting on their marketing and knowing what they're good at and what you value. Before I move on, the one other thing that I need to mention is if you cannot find your shop, I need to take a drink apparently. If you cannot find your shop, please type in, just as it says here, other not listed. So if you type in other, and you know, don't, don't spend a bunch of time typing in other not listed, just type in other and this will populate out and that's the first choice. When you choose that, there's a number of other fields that are going to populate which will allow you to tell us what the store name is. And is that the only field? Sorry. That is the only field. So which is the store name. And if you can give us the city and any contact information you have for them, that can allow us to add it to the list. We will then add it to the list within hopefully 24 hours, but potentially a week, um, depending on how, how quickly we're getting back to things. And, and then they'll be available to be voted for directly. That being said, if you're in a hurry and you're getting the vote out for all your friends, just tell them, use the other not listed and we'll make sure that everything gets redirected to that one shop that we create. I should apologize here, I just discovered this morning that this was not working up until today uh, because I had a, a view filter that was mistaken on this view and, and so now is the first time you can put that on. This is particularly important for international shops as our list is just not that well populated with international shops. All that being said, I think that's the skinny on, on voting. There's not too much more beyond that. Um, but the, the one other thing to mention with voting is that you are not allowed to vote more than once. So we, we do see that periodically throughout the contest where they say, hey, I can vote every day. Um, that is not the case. We do do some deduping throughout the process and we'll do that regularly to try and make sure that there's not uh, what you know inappropriate ebbs and flows that we kind of keep it constant so that we do have clear leaderboards. But that is something that we ask you not to do. Don't vote more than once. Once you've voted, go promote. Once you do vote, it's going to take you to or it's going to give you a link to go to the promote page. In particular for the public, we've got a series of assets for you to post. This is just like, you know, when you vote here in the U.S., they give you a little I voted sticker you put on your shirt, and that's to help get everybody else to go do it. Please post these on Instagram, social media, Facebook, etc., anywhere that you'd like in order to get others to vote. And keep in mind, this contest is a marathon. It runs from January 28th, which was last Saturday, all the way till the end of February. So we've got a lot of time to bring in more voters and to get people excited. Another really fun one are these little love notes where you can post this image and even edit it yourself and then send that directly to the store with an at just to tell them how much they mean to you. Let's go over to the leaderboard for a second to talk a little bit more about those changes which is we've expanded the contest dramatically this year to have potentially over 100 winners. The major reason we did this is because the purpose of the contest is to promote local quilt shops. And we thought the best way to do that was to give as many winners as much screen time as possible and really get both voters out there and voters aware of the shops that are available to them. So we now have three leaderboards. The first one is an overall leaderboard that just gives you the total votes for all stores. If you keep scrolling down, there's another leaderboard where we've grouped it by country. And you can see Australia's got a good showing this year. Um, Canada's following it up. 
And then we've got a few stores in Denmark and France and Germany, Netherlands. And again here, I, d I don't know exactly how many shops we have currently listed available in these locations. If you're an international customer, make sure you vote. Use that other not listed if you're not finding your shop and we'll get them added. That's going to be huge, particularly for the next item that I'm going to show you, which is our map. And our map's going to be available year round to help you plan trips. <clears throat> the leaderboard also is going to have winners from all states and potentially territories of the US, as well as Canadian provinces and territories. So you can see here a series of of top voted shops from each state. We think this is going to be really fun and we plan to do a blog where we will travel the country and mention the top voted shops. That brings me to this map. The map is embedded here at the bottom of the leaderboard, Whoops! but the better location to visit it will be right here on the map. And I should mention we've also linked directly to the map from our Bionie.com webpage here. Okay? The map see if I can find my way back to it. The map is a Google map that we've generated with, in collaboration with Google in order to display points worldwide of local quilt shops. Two things to know. Number one, this is crowdsourced data, so always check the website of that data point and make sure that both they're open and that their hours are good and that their address is still good. We're not able to keep it always up to date and we're relying on both you, the customer, and the shop to give us feedback when we need to change something. Item number two is we don't currently have a direct integration where every update goes to the map. Instead, we're gonna be doing an upload at least once a week in order to update things. So to the extent that you're, you voted for a new shop, and they're not showing up on the map yet, that may be just because we haven't done an upload. But let's go into the map. First, when you're here, you can scroll, but as you can see, that's fairly small on the screen. So what is quite fun is to just click on the whole screen view, and what that'll do is open an additional tab that shows you everything. From there, you can scroll in, and this, on a computer, I'm just using the mouse button. If you're on a phone, of course, you do, you know, the normal pinch and zoom. And for example, we can zoom in to kind of our region. And here we've got a series of stores across the desert southwest. In particular, we want to give a shout out to So Yeah, who was our grand prize number one winner from last year. They've got the little gold star. That's what that means. And there's other shops across the nation that are also grand prize winners or past grand prize winners from prior contests. And then if we scroll into the St. George area, you can see pins for all the, the local shops. Something that else is fun there is if you click on it, you can see if they were in last year's contest and they got a number of votes, they have little reviews here all populated out. This is kind of our special competition to, to Yelp or I don't know, I don't know what other major review things are, even Google Maps, in order to give you really good quality targeted content about the shops. Now keep in mind, our contest is not, is not huge. You know, we don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions to put to get behind it, kind of like Google does to make sure that there's, hey, do you just visited this place? Would you give us a review? Stuff like that, right? So just because a shop doesn't have any reviews on, on the map doesn't mean anything bad about the shop. It just may mean their customers didn't participate in the contest. But please use this map, scroll in and out anytime you're traveling, get inspired to go visit other shops around the world. And as I say around the world, you know, we are particularly after this contest, I anticipate having many, many points across the region and areas. Particularly Europe, you can see we're fairly weak. We're gonna have a special prize in the UK this year for grand prize, so we need to be able to fill in that in. And we will, and I plan to, do a special prize for every country that gets at least one shop with a vote. So it's a great way for those shops to get some extra recognition. And then, you know, for, for all of us that travel, it's a great way to plan out some exciting, exciting trips that include that passion of quilting. 
Let me check my script here. What is next? That is pretty much the culmination of my message and sharing. Um, I believe there might be some questions. Did we get anything there that I should be looking at? So question number one was how many times can you vote? Again, my answer there is we ask that you only vote once. We do have a system that's going to allow us to identify most duplicate votes. Um, but, you know, just like, you know, any election in the world, the goal here is for a real good result, honest result that shows the incredible work of a shop. So please limit yourself to one vote and make it count. Give some good comments and make sure that that shop feels the love. And then go out and find your friends, family members, etc. to get them to vote as well. Question number two, can you vote for more than one shop? So, yes. We, the, the system that we are using to remove duplicates will allow you to have a vote for different shops. We figured it doesn't hurt anybody. It only brings more love. And we couldn't imagine you know, how somebody voting for more than one shop would really tilt, tilt a result in any one way. So we have allowed that to stay in. We will do a brief review, though, to just to make sure that it's not all concentrated in one group. Um, you know, and something like that, which, which would be exciting, is, you know, there's a number of shops that have multiple locations across a city or even a state. It's okay to vote for their multiple locations if that's your favorite chain shop, etc. You know, and, and that can help them get a better feel for how much they're loved, even though... You know, in some ways, they're dividing their own vote across those locations. Now, are there any other questions there? I'll give it a couple minutes in case Randy has anything else. Um, that's funny. I, sh I, I should mention just um, randomly, Randy Jones, who is the founder of the By Any Bag Makers group on Facebook, has agreed very graciously to start helping us out. Um, that's really, in our case, in a time of need. Um, we had Leslie Meltzer needed to step away from supporting Facebook Live, and Randy offered some availability to help us keep that going. So we've made a couple slips over the last few weeks. In this case, you know, normally we just say the team. <laughs> but in this case, um, it's, uh, you know, Randy in particular who's watching that live and helping us to make sure that we source those comments and bring it in. In addition to that, she's going to support us a bit with the local quilt shop contest to do some of the blog posts, etc. And we just want to say, you know, we really appreciate her support. She still remains independent for any moderation with regards to the bag makers group. We do not manage or own that system in any way, and her time is separate. But we just wanted to, you know, make sure that that was out in the open so that there was no doubts or, or uh, conspiracy theories or anything else about, about that. But thank you so much, Randy, for the support here. And I hope opening it up in that way was, was useful for everyone and, for <laughs> and reasonable. Um, I didn't see anything else come up, so it doesn't sound like there's too many questions. Please get out the vote. In particular, please share those assets around to with your friends and on social media in order to get out more. Last year, we had over 40,000 votes. I believe this year, we're up to almost 10,000 in the first few days, but there's a long ways to go. And then for those of you that are at Quilt Shops, the one last thing I should mention is under the Promote tab, there is the Quilt Shop information. For all of those US stores that verified prior to today, we are sending a nice gift package that includes, for example, some of these little triangles, along with some promotional materials, a sample of our project of the month ideas, which includes a little link for getting the full PDF where we have over 13 groupings, along with a brand new product that we haven't even announced yet. Some bookmarks, etc. And then one, and then this is the code that we mentioned in order to embed it on a website to get more votes. And one last thing to mention is if if you really love your shop or if you're a shop owner, Feel free to send out a press release to the local paper in order to get people inspired about the contest and let them know that you're competing. That's all I have for you today. I'll close back to Annie, and thank you so much for your time and your support.
I hope you are as excited as we are about this year's LQS contest and that you'll make time soon to vote for your favorite local quilt shop. Be sure to tell your family and friends to vote too so you can help your shops win prizes and share the love. It is such a great way to recognize all the hardworking quilt shop owners and their staff who inspire and educate us all. Before we close, I want to tell you about this week's featured local quilt shops. This week we are visiting two shops, both of whom have biannie trunk shows on display throughout the month of February. Let's start in Little Rock, Arkansas at the Stitchin Post. This store celebrated 50 years in business in 2022. That is truly impressive. Current owner Jane Bell and her friend Linda Bowlby purchased the shop from the original owner in 2007. Linda has since retired, but comes in to help out on a regular basis. Located in the western part of Little Rock, Stitch and Post has approximately 5,500 feet of retail space, as well as a large dedicated classroom. They offer a large selection of modern and traditional quilting fabrics, as well as garment fabrics, fabrics and supplies for smocking and heirloom sewing, block of the months, classes, and notions. They are also a Bernina and Husqvarna Viking dealer and authorized service center. Stitch and Post offers a full schedule of classes, including their Makers Monthly Club, at which they kicked off their Biani trunk show in January. Their resident Biani expert is Stacy Ferguson. Stacy is an expert seamstress and educator, and this year she will be teaching a Biani basics class, which will be a three-day class series intended to familiarize students with the fundamental techniques used in our designs while making four Biani projects. I loved hearing that. Customers who voted for the stitching post praised the store's staff and selection. Sherry wrote, great staff, great products, it's a joy to walk into the shop. And Cynthia shared, when I moved back home from Florida, I thought I would not find a nice fabric store. I got a gift certificate to Stitch and Post and took a class by Stacy. I learned so much in that class and she has always been helpful on any project I need help with. The fabric choices are the best. It always makes me happy to go to their store and shop. And Nikki wrote, if you're a regular, they know your name. I'm not a regular, but my mom is, and they still knew, know who I belong to when I come in without her. Stitch and Post will have their Biani trunk show on display until February 22nd, so get in soon to check it out and sign up for a class with Stacy while you're there. Next, let's travel to Henderson, Nevada, a suburb of Las Vegas, to visit Quiltique. This family business was started by Bob and Jen Tibisar and their two daughters, Jennifer and Cara, and they are celebrating their 20th anniversary this year. The concept for the shop started with Jan's love of quilting, fabrics, and crafting, and grew into a successful shop that lives in an 8,000 square foot space and holds over 7,000 bolts of fabric. Jan passed in 2021, but her guiding spirit lives on. Quiltique's style is contemporary and bright, and they carry all the hot brands and designers. Best sellers and favorites are Cafe Facet, Tula Pink, Juicy Juice, Tilda, Art Gallery, and more. I especially love their display vignettes all over the shop that display beautiful samples to inspire customers. The last time I taught there, I spent at least an hour wandering the store and was amazed to see how many fabulous Biani models their staff had made. An award-winning Bernina dealer for 19 years, they are also a Baby Lock and Koala Studios dealer, and they offer full-service sewing machine repairs for all models of machines. A full lineup of classes and special events are always happening in their beautiful thousand square foot classroom space. They are truly a gathering place for their community. Customers who voted for Quiltique in the 2022 contest praised the store's friendly, helpful staff, wonderful selection, and inspiring atmosphere. Shelley said, it is so beautiful when you walk in. They have lovely displays of bags, quilts, fun accessories, and tons of classes. 
The entire staff is warm and friendly and so helpful, and they have a huge array of fabrics for different projects. I live about two hours away from Henderson, Nevada, and it is worth the drive. Eva noted that the store has a large variety of fabrics and notions and classes to fit every stage of experience. Quiltique celebrated local Quilt Shop Day in style on January 28th with a Biani trunk show. The show will be on display in the store throughout the month of February, so be sure to stop in and check it out and say hi from me. Thank you again to everyone who joined us today. We will be back next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time with another inspiring episode of Live with Annie when we will showcase a newly updated pattern, Backseat Babysitter 2.0. This awesome organizer is designed to keep passengers occupied and the car clutter free and it is really fun to make. I can't wait to tell you more about it, so be sure to join us next week. And until then, Happy stitching!